So it is very likely in the next 10 years that we're going to get a breakthrough in the mechanism of aging research that will translate to humans. Right now there are 14 areas, including novel hyperbaric oxygen therapy, that have been shown in specific in animal models and some in specific patient entities to make a big difference. But the key is, can we bring this to widespread populations and really be 40 when the calendar strikes 90? That's what we think is likely to happen. And obviously, if that happens, you want to be prepared for it. You want to be prepared for it fiscally, physically, so that you don't, if you will, have damage that limits your ability to be 40 when you're 90. And you want to be prepared for it, um, what you would call fiscally, so you can afford to be there. And it's really, longevity is really the solution, not the problem, because if you're going to live to 115, you're not going to retire at 65 and do nothing for 50 years. So you're going to retire later, which will contribute to Medicare, which will contribute to Social Security, other things in other countries that are equivalent. And consequently, longevity will be the solution to our, if you will, budgetary problems, not a problem in itself. We'll see what comes out of this today, if you will. Um, but what I think will come out of it is that, at least what I hope comes out of it, is really three things. One is a way of helping spread the novel hormetic hyperbaric oxygen in, into a wider population so that there's more understanding of it, more insurance reimbursement for uh, traumatic brain injury, for um, long COVID, for some of the specific things, stroke, where it has been shown to be a benefit. Second is to help you think about how to spread this more widely. How do we get this so that more people can do it more easily, if you will? And, and the third is our own interactions, um, I think, are, are ones that will help um, each of us have ideas for, can we use it in this way? Can we use, can, what can we do to help its general use in aging? And what else can we do? And, and how do we interact with uh, the scientists here to learn more about different areas of aging.